Hey, you just gonna get my little slideshow ready. I'm over on, well, I hope you don't mind getting me over here because I like to get my own slide buttons. Um, so yeah, um, my name's Miles, and I'm here from TTC Riders. I should point out that well, I'm not from the TTC. Uh, we are we are a volunteer group, um, and essentially what we want is we want more TTC service and lower fares. And like I say, we're we're volunteers, and we lobby politicians, and we get uh, support from the from various communities across the city. We have a Scarborough Council, we have a North York Council, we have a bunch of people downtown, um, and I'll let you know how you can reach us uh, if you want to at the end of the slideshow. So, you guys seem like a pretty smart room. I don't think I need to go into a lot of detail about why public transit is important. Uh, basically, public transit is a public service. If there was no TTC, this city would basically stop working. Uh, everyone who was in a car would be stuck in traffic all the time, and uh, the rest of us who don't own cars uh, wouldn't be able to get around. And TTC ridership is going to continue to increase because the population of Toronto uh, continues to go up and up, and there's no more space on our roads. We're never going to have another big highway. All we can do is build more transit, and people are going to continue taking it. And it has been going up every year. We set a new record for public transit ridership. And even though everyone in the city benefits from public transit, uh, you probably noticed that there was just a fare increase. Um, the cash fare went up uh, earlier this year in January uh, on, the, on, I think, the, the 3rd. And every year before that, Metro passes have gotten more expensive. So the TTC keeps getting more expensive. And again, everyone benefits from the TTC working, but raising fares to pay for service only makes things worse for people who can afford it the least. So what's in the 2016 budget? There is a small increase in TTC funding, 5.4 million, but you probably remember from the last presentation, the TTC budget is huge, and 5.4 million doesn't pay for very much. Uh, one good thing is Sunday subway service is gonna start at eight o'clock instead of nine o'clock, which is great. Um, there's efforts to make bus service more reliable, which is kind of vague, and there are gonna be some new express buses. That's all that we're getting that's new in the budget for the TTC as it is. There are no new improvements to subway reliability coming this year, and uh, you guys have probably all seen what happens when there's a subway service shutdown. Um, basically, nobody can get to work, nobody can go to the grocery store, it's ridiculous. Um, they're not increasing subway service off-peak on the Young Line, even though the Young Line is busy all day, and they're also not considering any of the poverty reduction uh, ideas that uh, TTC riders and our allies are putting forward. Some of the things we would want to see is a two-hour transfer, uh, basically where you pay once and then you can, you, you can ride any other line for the next two hours. Uh, they're not considering a low-income pass, which again we think is very important to allow people who can least afford it to get around, and they're not considering free transit for Ontario Works or people on disability. And there is a giant shortfall, in fact, a $58 million shortfall. So how are they going to pay for it? Again, we're going to have a fare increase. There is a freeze on MetroPass fares, which is the first time in five years there has been a freeze on fares. But every year before this year, MetroPass has got more expensive. This year, they're switching it, and they're making cash fares more expensive instead of making MetroPasses more expensive. Great. Um, and even though that's a pretty big deal, that riding the TTC gets more expensive for all of us, that only makes up $23 million of the $58 million shortfall that we have going into the year. And that's, that's without any other help from any other levels of government. And the TTC uh, actually is a pretty efficient organization, especially as far as transit groups go. The reason why, the biggest reason why the TTC always has such problems uh, being uh, paying for everything it has to pay for is because we are the least subsidized transit organization in North America. And in fact, since 2010, we've actually gotten less subsidized. Um, in, the, in Toronto, the TTC is subsidized at 89 cents per rider. If you walk a few blocks north to be north of Steeles in York Region, they subsidized $4.34 per rider on York Region Transit. But here in Toronto, it's only 89 cents per rider. And uh, I mean, just about every other city in North America, 
we see that uh, levels of government actually fund the TTC. Pretty much here, we're affected to pay for it entirely, almost entirely, uh, through fares. And also of note is the TTC doesn't get much support from the province. It doesn't get much support from the federal government. All of the operating costs has to be paid for by the city. Uh, the province used to help uh, support the TTC um, in terms of operating costs until Mike Harris, and then after Mike Harris was out of power, the Liberal government never restored that subsidy. And the federal government has never considered a subsidy. So what we want is for the city to fund the TTC at $1.26 per ride and for the province to match the city's contribution. That wouldn't even make the TTC a really overly funded organization. That would just fund the improvements that we need and it would bring our funding levels to the Canadian average. And that's just the operating cost. We also have a, a large amount of capital budget shortfall. Um, buses only get more crowded every year. Streetcars get more crowded every year. Uh, the, the subway system gets less reliable every year because the rails and the, and the signaling system just gets older and older and the funding continues to not increase. So, Again, we just want to match the other transit systems in Canada. We're not asking to be exceptionally funded. We're not asking to be funded like York Region, but we would like uh, the levels of government, and especially the city, because that's where the budget debate is happening now, to stop taking transit riders for granted. And we would like the city to stop raising fares. They've raised fares on either cash or Metropass every year for the last seven years. We also would like to see a low-income pass, and we would like to see a two-hour transfer system um, like everywhere else in the GTA has, just not Toronto. And also, we need to actually fix our infrastructure, not just basically maintain it, because things are slowly falling apart, and we don't want them to start quickly falling apart. So where can the money come from? Because as mentioned, all money has to come from somewhere, and again, it can't all keep coming from property taxes. We have to find new ways to fund the TTC, because again, if we don't, uh, the city will be in trouble and people won't be able to get around. So on the provincial level, a few ideas are we can have a small increase in the corporate tax. Uh, over the last five years, the corporate tax rate has gone down by 3%. We, I, don't, I think we could restore some of that without businesses leaving the province of Ontario. We could, we could have an income tax on the wealthy. We could increase the gas tax. Um, if we have all three of those, that would raise $1.16 billion uh, per year. And we don't even have to necessarily have all three, but those are some ideas. On the city level, property tax is mentioned, but even outside of that, there's been talk about a commercial parking tax. Uh, that's not a residential parking tax. We could have the we could reinstate the vehicle registration tax, which Rob Ford cut, uh, or we could have uh, an increase in development charges because there are uh, there's still a lot of development happening in the city, and we could. Sorry, ask the question. Um, or, let's finish okay, yeah, sure. Okay, and if we have all of those, that would raise an additional $354 million. Um, we don't expect the city or the province to do all of these, but even some of them would be a huge increase. And just for reference, um, the cash fare increase and the token fare increase raised $23 million per year. Um, if we had a uh, commercial parking tax, which I think is a, which would be a dollar per day on commercial parking spaces, that would be 171 million per year. So a huge amount more than continuing to raise fares. So what we want people to do, if you can, um, is to contact your counselor, because this is right now when the uh, budget debates are going on. We want you to contact your counselor and say, and explain to them that you want the TTC subsidy to be in line with the subsidy that uh, transit organizations in other cities in Canada get. Uh, your counselor is Councillor Pasternak. I believe that the email address is just counselor underscore Pasternak at toronto.ca. Uh, don't worry about this petition because obviously it's kind of a hard thing to click on. And if you want to know more about us, you can ask me or you can go to our website. It's ttcriders.ca. And um, I think there's going to be a big question and answer, so we'll probably have time for your question then.